Hey guys, so I just got back from shopping. Actually, let me take my glasses off because it's creating a glare. So excuse my eyes while they adjust. We actually went to Morrison's um, tonight rather than Audi's. I just fancied going with Danny and seeing his thoughts on it. He wasn't actually very impressed. He was like, everything's everywhere. There's no structure to the shop. And that's kind of how I felt about the shop as well. But um, yeah, he weren't impressed. Saying that, Danny doesn't really like change. And when we first started shopping at Aldi's, he hated that. He hated that you had to put the stuff in your trolley and then go to the end and then bag it up. He couldn't get his head around that. And now he can get used to that. So I just think um, it's what you're used to, isn't it? But no, he, he didn't like he didn't like shopping in Morrison's one bit tonight. Um, there wasn't that many deals. I did get a few bits that I couldn't ordinarily get at Aldi. So I'm impressed with that. Another couple of bits that I wanted to throw in. Today is our fourth weekly shop of a five week month so money is slightly tight i work on a budget if you've been watching me for a while you'll know i have a 400 pound budget a month um, and that doesn't matter if it's a four week or five week month so this time around i took this counter around the shop and you can pick these up on amazon and ebay and things like that they're really really cheap i think it was like 99p and you click it as you walk round. Obviously, you can only do pounds, so I have to round it up. So as I was clicking it, it was 62 pounds. And then the actual receipt, because I was gonna see how, how well I got it, was actually 60 pounds and 84p. So it's a really good way of gauging how much you're spending as you walk around the shop. And I think they're just called a counter clicker or something along that lines. And yeah, I think these are really, really good and worth picking up. So that was the second thing I wanted to mention. No, I think that's it. That's everything I wanted to mention. So let me run through next week's meal plan with you. So for the meal plan, Monday I have stuffed shells. Tuesday is my new recipe. That was the other thing I wanted to mention. In my Instant Pot cookbook, there is a Sloppy Joe recipe that I want to try. So I'm going to give that a try. I didn't pick up the buns for that. I'll pick that up like in the morning so they're nice and fresh. Wednesday, crispy chicken. Thursday, corned beef hash. Friday, gammon. Saturday, pizza. And I'll be in London that Saturday. So it'll be frozen pizza that we'll get next week before we go shopping. And then Sunday will be our typical Sunday roast. So let me spin you around and show you what I got at Morrison's today. So as I already mentioned, my bill was £60 and 84p. I did have 144 left in the budget, so I have loads of money for next week. And yeah, that was the, the counter, a closer look at the counter. Then for non-food items, I picked up two lots of toothpaste for Ollie. So this is the, the children's one. They were on offer at a pound each. The Harpit Cleaner, I really, really like this one. I think it does a fantastic job at cleaning the toilets they were a pound each i got some method multi-surface cleaner this is quite expensive but i really do like the method um products i've used them in the past this was three pounds so quite a pricey purchase but i really really do like it also love the bottles i know that is has nothing to do with how it works but i just like the shape of the bottles i got some sif who remembers when it used to be called Jif back in the day? This was a pound on offer. This is really, really good. It's also really, really good for cleaning dirty white socks. If you put a little bit on the white socks and rub it in before you stick it in the washing machine, I know that's not what it's intended for, but um, it's really, really good at getting your white socks white again. Then I got some potatoes, some mixed leaf salad. We're having wraps tomorrow, so I needed a few salad bits. So I got that, some cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, some tangerines, some apples, and two gala melons, some bananas, and some peppers. I didn't get many meats, my freezer is still quite full. I got two packs of minced beef, and they were two for five pound. I got some scampi bites, and they were a pound, which is really quite reasonably priced for scampi. And I, I like to have supper in the evening, so this will be the type of thing that I would have for supper. I got some salt and pepper chicken wings. We got this last time I went there and the kids really, really loved them so I picked them up again. Did I mention the ricotta? This is for the stuffed shells as well as the mozzarella. Some cheese slices, the boys like that. Two lots of milk and then I also picked up some um, long life semi-skim milk because it's really handy to have in the cupboards when you run out of milk. At least you've got something to have a cup of coffee with so I picked up some, some long life milk. 
I got some pasta shells. I do have one in the cupboard, but I thought I would, as I was already in Morrison's, I'll pick up another one. Some granulated sugar, two tins of beans. These interested me. They were down there, Wells Isle. Um, and so it's chicken tikka masala and biryani. Is that how you pronounce that? So yeah, I'll be very interested in um, trying these spices out. If anyone has, has had any luck with these, please let me know. Some linguine pasta. Two bottles of squash for the boys. And this is the cherry and berries. Two loaves of bread. Some burger sauce. Some passata. Danny got his Guinness. Some cereal for the boys. Free range eggs and some cheese and onion crisps and these big bags of quavers were on sale i think they were three pounds so that was a good price for them so i picked them up too so morrison's does have a paper and danny picked it up i didn't actually even see it so it says morrison's news and it's funny it says free as it's an advertisement so it had this um natural wonky naturally wonderful audis has been doing this for a while i don't know if this has yet started because i didn't see any of this wonky produce in the the shop i went to um and my shop is huge right you can't find anything in it it's like a needle in a haystack so i mean it'd be worth looking out for if it's something that's coming on in the future wonky lemon drizzle cake and then what i did see in there was your new savers range um and i there was an aisle full of savers bits which the, the prices are are really really good I think although the packaging is very basic get ready for barbecue season oh I can't wait might be worth popping in there and getting some extra barbecue bits they look really tasty my kids would love them And the big cleaning event, obviously we're coming up to spring cleaning. And their clothes. In honesty, I didn't look at any of their clothes. Our first partnership year with CLIC Cancer. That's good. Home and Cook Collection. Way down price crunch. It's good to have a look and, um, and see what the sort of prices are. You can compare where you normally go. So the other thing that I did want to um, talk about because I was asked to is the list of dinners that I work on. So I actually rewrote it because this is my my other one that's well loved and well used so basically what i do is every recipe that i have that i use i put um and i'll get close up so you can pause and have a look um any recipe that i use regularly i put on a list that way when it comes to meal planning i can just work off this list to help me and then when i try new recipes i just i just simply if i like them and they make the list i'll keep them on the list if I try them and I don't like them, they don't make the list. It just helps with my meal planning. So yeah, if I just zoom out like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the extra information I added in. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.